Free flow. So, free flow is a BPA polypropylene water bottle. Okay, so our lid and our top cover are totally, and everything about it is machine washable or dishwasher washable. It is 620 milliliters. The colors are pink, blue, orange, and green. Great colors, diverse for any kind of market. Okay, so our, this is our executive summary. And in our summary, we're selling you guys a great urban style water bottle that helps you guys save the bay and drink fashionably. So how many times can you save the bay with one water bottle? Brings me to my next, oops, sorry. I'm sorry, I think we missed a slide. Well, our water bottle is, our philanthropy is Save the Bay. Save the Bay is a great philanthropy and we're giving 25% of our profit to them. So not only are we selling this water bottle to you guys, but we're also giving back to the community, which is really great. And I'm sure this is, might be a little better than the water bottles that you have today, you know, drinking out of, so it's really great. So these are our sales projections. Our sales projections are, um, we're getting higher in March because of the summertime, um, and going higher in April and May, and of course, because we are getting out of school in June, we will be selling less. August, selling more because we're gonna get back into school. September, um, getting a little drop because it is getting cold. October, higher because it, because it is still a little warm. November, oh, uh, because there is a winter break and December because we have um, Winter Sales Bazaar. Now, um, now these are our consumer research. We, these, um, 10 percent said that they would use and would be happy to use um, a reusable water bottle, and unfortunately, five percent said no. And in our bottle preference, um, half said that they love to use reusable water bottles. Some um, in the yellow, one said no. And three said plastic did not like it, and four percent said they prefer metal. Oh, this is our philanthropy. Sorry, this is our philanthropy slide. And um, as we said, as I said before, say the Bay organization reduce pollution in the Bay, of course, and give twenty five percent of profit. And bonus, so we unfortunately did not have the brochure with us, but usually we would. And this is our state of the Bay. So our cogs for one water bottle would be, we are buying a water bottle for one dollar, then we're going to buy stickers for ten cents, and after that we'll also buy 300 business cards for six dollars. Um, this shows how much like our cost is, so we're, um, our cost for one water bottle is a dollar and ten cents, our selling price for one water bottle is six dollars and fifty cents, and our profit for one water bottle is five dollars and forty cents. That means we're making over 400% profit. Our manufacturing process is pretty simple. We order our bottles from the manufacturer um, website called Alibaba.com, which comes with um, delivered from uh, China to USA. And then we order our stickers from Barrier Custom Shirts, which we'll put our logo into our water bottle, actually, as you can see. We'll be promoting our product, our product through Facebook, Google Plus. Instagram, flyers, and business cards. We have also um, asked schools to sell our product, and they said yes, so it's all right. Our primary target market is 14 to 17 years old. Our secondary target market is 18 to 21. We chose this target market based on the school bound age group that we think is usually participating in athletic events. Our competitive advantage is that it is eco-friendly, it has an urban side to it, and ergonomic, meaning that it has a nice fit when you hold it, your, hold the water bottle with your hand. Our first competitor is Camelback. Their strength is that they have a long-lasting, durable water bottle. Their weakness is that they are very expensive. A range from one water bottle to theirs is about a cost of $20 to $30. The secondary category, secondary competitor is Core One Hydration Vessel. Their strength is that they are very, have a stylish lid and their weakness is that they are very pricey as well as Camelback. Turbo Streetwear's strength is that they have, it's an affordable customized design and their weakness is that they, when not available, you have to wait for a while to get your water bottle. 
So this is our executive timeline. Um, in August, we will be like improving our product. By September of next year, we will be ordering our and selling our product. And not so long after, we'll be selling our product at the Winter Sales Bazaar. And of course, we're planning to win all showcase and competitions. Thank you very much. Any questions? Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. Thank you very much. We blow up our bottles. 